let's do a center mass example with a rod that has a non-uniform density. And the example we have here says, find the location of a center of mass with a, of a rod with length L and a linear mass density of 4x squared. So that means that as the rod gets further away from the x equals zero point, which we're gonna say is on its left end here, the linear density increases. So for this little section, the density is much greater than it is for this section. You can imagine maybe like a baseball bat or something like that, that it's narrow at one end and gets wider at the other end, so it has a more mass out there. And we wanna do two things here. The first one is they want us to find where is the location of the center of mass, and the second thing they want us to do is find the mass of a 1.2 meter long rod with a different linear mass density than this example. So let's do this one first. Now, just based on that idea that it's going to increase density as the f you go out further, it's pretty safe to say that that center of mass is gonna be out here somewhere, not in the center, but a little bit more toward that right side. So let's go through this example. So to find the center of mass, so XCM, we remember it was, you know, M1, R1 plus M2, R2, all divided by M1 plus M2, and so on and so forth. So what we need to do here is we need to integrate. So we are going to have the integral of lambda which is going to be dx is our mass, but then we need to multiply it by the location x, divided by the integral of lambda dx, which is just the mass. And we are gonna be going from zero to L in this case, um, because that is the length of our rod. If it was in the next example, 1.2 meters, this is gonna be from zero to 1.2. So let's plug in our values here. So I have x is equal to the integral from zero to L of four x squared times x dx, all divided by the integral from zero to L of four x squared dx. Careful, sometimes I'll see students, um, they'll be like, oh, I see a four x squared, and they'll just cancel out the four x squares before they actually do the integral. Uh-uh-uh, don't do that. So let's integrate these things here. So now I have four x cubed, it's gonna to go to the fourth. So now I'm just gonna have x to the fourth evaluated from zero to L divided by, and on the bottom, this is gonna become x to the cubed. So then I'll have four thirds x cubed evaluated from zero to L. Notice that the four is canceled out on that top one. So we plug in our L's, and so I'm left with L to the fourth divided by four thirds L to the third. A lot of our L's cancel. Dividing by four thirds is the same as multiplying by three fourths. And so I'm at three fourths L is the location of the center of mass. Um, and is that pretty reasonable? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty reasonable.